So I've talked a little bit about the different sort of cultivation strategies, soil management strategies that, um, that growers can employ and talked a bit about herbicides in the past, but I thought it'd be interesting to actually talk about what do herbicides do to soils and why, why are these things deleterious to, to wine quality. Uh, here is a very flagrantly herbicided parcel of Premier Cru bone. Uh, so you, you, can, you can see the classic uh, set of signatures of obviously dead grass uh, and a lot of moss that's been growing up, compacted soils, uh, little ravines where erosion has been going on. And that's sort of typically what you get in vineyards that have been herbicided for quite a long time. Um, important to say this is a technology that uh, made a lot of people's lives easier when French wine growers were very poor. Uh, back in the 70s, 80s. And that's why it was so universally adopted. I mean, in, in, by the 80s, more than half of French vineyards were, were uh, managed in this way, if you can say so. Uh, and it was thought to be very progressive. It was called no-till. No-till today, everyone talks about no-till. Uh, it's uh, permanent cover crops and, and uh, permaculture. No-till in the 70s meant this, you know. Uh, and people said, oh, it's great. It, it, you, you don't have to be in your tractor plowing. And the plows back then were harder to operate. The material for managing soils was far from being as advanced as it is today. And, uh, and they said, oh, look, then the soils are more compact. It's easier to drive a machine harvester into the vineyard. So from the sort of progressive perspective of the um, agricultural engineers of the 70s and 80s, um, this seemed like progress. Today, today to us, it looks, uh, it looks terrible. But, but why, why is it actually bad for uh, the wine? So it's an interesting question. Firstly, uh, you destroy your soil structure and you deplete it of, of organic uh, matter. So that, that you can see there's, there's no cycle of grass growing, uh, weeds growing and then being plowed into the soil. Uh, or, or degrading in place, you have less and less organic matter, more and more compaction, less and less true structure. And you also encourage very superficial uh, rooting of, of the vines. The, 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 these vines have been herbicide for a long time. Their rooting systems are all going to be uh, in, the, in the surface. So all of that means that soils heat up quickly. Uh, they they uh, don't retain water. Uh, and then the very shallow rooting systems mean that the vines are especially exposed to those, those sorts of things to the temperature, uh, also then to rain, any rain is absorbed immediately. All of that results in uh, higher potassium uptake by the vines, which causes the pHs to rise, acidity to fall, pHs to rise. So it means your wines are less microbiologically stable, have less French freshness, less tension, less cut. Uh, and, uh, you know, it really changes the, the, the properties of the fruit over a long period of time. So in addition to all of the negative ecological stuff, which is, I think, nobody needs to be told about by me today, uh, and in addition to, to the you know, various possible sort of health uh, impacts of these chemicals, it actually fundamentally changes the composition of your musts. Uh, for me, that, that's um, one, of the, one of the big negatives about it as well that, uh, that perhaps isn't often talked about enough.